Greetings and salutations gamers. This is John the Gamer 64 coming at you with a new collection video. And as you can see here, my old PS1 collection is sprawled all over the floor. So I figured this would be a lot easier than doing it one by one because the PS1 collection is probably one of the biggest parts of my video game collection. Well, I don't know. PS2 and PS3 are pretty big too. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do the best we can, try to get through all of them. I'm not going to try to talk as much because I really just want to showcase all the games, really. But, yeah. <laughs> so it is going to be a long one, guys. Well, hopefully a short one because that's kind of the idea. So, yeah. This was the best way to do it. Sprawl out my whole collection. And... I almost tiled my whole room with all my games. <laughs> okay, so I'll start off with the loose games here. So it's going to be first section. Oh, shit. Okay. Got Cubix. Destruction, or is it Devil Derby 3D? Maybe that's Hexing right there. Alright. Revolution X, or I love that. One of the best campy light gun shooters in the 90s. Of course, Terminator 2 is good too. The Story Racer. And that's Rise 2. Rise of the Robots 2. It's definitely slightly better than the first game. <laughs> first game was so average and good. You know. Alright, got Mega Man action. Space Invaders. Alright, so we're just gonna go down the rows first. So. Jumping Flash 2. I actually played the first one on the uh, PlayStation Classic and it was just such a unique game, man. Like a first person rabbit just shooting, shooting lasers and stuff. Pretty fun. And no introduction here. Bust Move, 99. One of my favorite puzzle games of all time, for sure. Well, just the series in general. I love Bust Move. <laughs> the cringy uh, Spice World game. Wasn't much of a game, really. More like a fan service y. Type deal. Okay, Colony Wars, Casper, San Francisco Rush, Blasto, great game. I actually played that one uh, on my cousin's PS1 back in the day, the uh, Axel Wolf. Thanks to him, you know, I got to experience a lot of the great like, PlayStation games. So, pretty cool, man. Got Star Wars, Phantom Menace, of course, Revolts. Definitely one of my favorite all-time racers up right there. We got like Treasures of the Deep. Oh, I think that's the one where you play as a scuba diver and you like shoot sharks with torpedoes and stuff. See, <laughs> always got th that game and this one, uh, Critical Death, mixed up. Because the other one is like, uh, or this one is like Twisted Metal but underwater. So you're using like submersibles, like submarines and other crazy looking underwater vehicles. Oh yeah, I got Star Wars Rebel Assault, both discs. I think it was like two fifty a piece, so I managed to get both of them. So it was like five bucks all together at Retro City. Retro City games. Which <laughs> a good majority of the sleeve games comes from, so yeah. You got Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger. Of course there's no case, it was loose, so it came with uh, Little cardboard like sleeve. And Jersey Devil, freaking love this game. Only paid eight bucks for it. The disc was in good condition. I think complete the same game goes for more. So we'll definitely explore that in the future episode of Price Charting with John Gima. We got Streak Hoverboard Racing. It was funny because I remember I got this super cheap, and like the game was brand new. I think it was like ten bucks. And the game was like still factory sealed. And I only got it because it reminds me of that game on Dreamcast. It was another futuristic racer called uh, Trickstar. Freaking love that one. And we got Road Rash 3D. Can't go around with Road Rash. Alright. Italian job. See, it's funny, I thought this was based off the movie, but uh, I guess everyone's British and it takes place in Britain. 
Yeah. <laughs> and we got Omega Boost. Pretty cool. It's like the mech version of Panzer Dragoon. And speaking of mechs, we got Mech Warrior 2. Yeah, you can tell I'm a mech fan. <laughs> and we got a pretty sweet trilogy of games here. We got Siphon Filter 1 through 3. I think I beat the first two, but not the third one. Well, I freaking love these three games, man. A remaster of these would be fantastic. The sequels after them, like, I didn't really dig as much. But I love the first three games. Like, these are so good. I'd just be happy with the remaster. Maybe some quality of life improvements. If need be. But, yeah. Alright, so that's most of the loose games. And we got... Dino Crisis 2. Definitely a great sequel. More action-y than the first one. This first one's like more survival horror. But I would love to see the first one and the second one uh, remade. Just like the Resident Evil games. And we got the first Guilty Gear. And Rebel Schools. Two awesome fighters on there. And we got Parasite Eve 2. I actually got this at Retro City Games. I think it was like five bucks for both discs as well. The discs weren't in bad condition either, but yeah. And then we got Time Crisis. <laughs> Time Crisis. <laughs> it was a sweet light gun series. And then these two black cases with no cover art. We got Psychic Force. I freaking love this series. It's like a unique fighter with psychics fighting in a glass cube. It's like, what's not to like? Plus, it, uh, it's also a, a, has a, its own anime aesthetic. I'm not sure if this was originally based on an anime, or if it's like Guilty Gear or it's its own thing. But you know. And then we got Worms. I actually got that one for two bucks at Retro City. And then we got Crypt Killer and Mega Man X5. Crypt Killer is great, man. I remember playing these back in the day. Uh, I think it was the New York New York Arcade. Oh my god, <laughs> like the graphics in that game creep me out. Like just the style of graphics, not because the graphics are bad, but like, oh man. Those sprites are so scary looking. <laughs> creep me out. Alright, and we got Akuji the Heartless. I think this was another game with another, uh, what is it, like a voodoo warrior priest? You know, like Shadow Man. But you know, Shadow Man's way better, for sure. And we got Boombots. Dexter's Lab and Dark's Lab Development. And we're delving into Final Fantasy territory, so I only have uh, 8, 9, and Origins, which is the first two games remade. And we got Die Hard Trilogy 2, Viva Las Vegas. That was definitely unique considering there was no Die Hard movie that took place in Vegas, but. Alright, got some incomplete games without the manuals here. So we got NBA GM Extreme. I think it was like the first for foray into 3D with the series. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And we got Rugrats Search for Reptar. Probably the best Rugrats game ever made, I'd like to say. And we got NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC, and Star Gladiator. <laughs> pretty sweet ass fighting game. So yeah, if you know your history, once upon a time, Capcom showed interest in making a Star Wars fighting game, but uh, I guess LucasArts wanted to do it on their own, and we just have a mediocre uh, fighter. It wasn't horrible, but it was just really average. But anyways, moving on. Okay, we got Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Lovely Army Men series. And we got Futurist Racer, Cyber Speed. We got Saga Frontier. Another Squaresoft RPG. I think I got this one off uh, Facebook Marketplace. Got it for like 20. Just came with the game in the manual, but no back insert or anything. But, you know, it's all good. Alright, we got another Destruction Derby game. Destruction Derby Raw. And we got Crash Bandicoot 2, and then 3 right under it. 
I think I have the other uh, lenticular picture for the Crash 2 somewhere around here, but yeah. <laughs> and then speaking of Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Masters Terakasi, the average fighter here. Yeah, had a severe lack of space dinosaurs like Star Gladiators. <laughs> then we got excess Junior League Dodgeball. We got the imports, uh, Pobol number two, not released in the US. First game was pretty good. First one was released in the US for sure. And we got Marvel Superheroes. Alright. Moving along. And we got Puzzle Bobble 2. We got X-Men Mutant Academy 1 and 2 here. This game I'm very happy to have. Freaking Brave Fencer Musashi again. Of course it's in Japanese, but I think that's a trade-off for not paying up the butt for the American version, but that's just me. Ooh, so much space over here. <laughs> and we got Fur Guys and Puyo Pop 2. Not sure if, that, if the Puyo Pop series came out before Dr. Eggman and the Mean Bean Machine, but yeah, I really dig the puzzle game though. Apologies folks, I had to move some games around so I can actually <laughs> traverse my room without crashing the game. So we got Mobile Suit Gundam version 2.0. So yeah, this is the version, or the updated version of the first one here. This one didn't have a save, like a save feature like this one did. But yeah, I think there was like other uh, features too. But, yeah. but so far the best Gundam game on PS1, at least in my eyes, is Char's Counter Attack here. Freaking solid. And speaking of Psychic Force, we got Puzzle Ties In. So it's got its own puzzle game, which is basically like <laughs> bust a move. But what do you know? Taito actually worked on that one. But I don't think Taito worked on the uh, like the fighting game. And we got X Men Mutant Academy 1 and 2. Oh, wait, hold on. Very quickly. Yeah, okay. So we're done with that portion. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Oregon. Oregon. Uh, War Games Defcon 1. Pretty cool, it's like somewhat part strategy, other, just like vehicular combat. So, pretty cool. Alright, so we'll do two games at a time here. So, we got Street Fighter EX Alpha. First 3D Street Fighter game. Wasn't bad. And I love Road Rash, so we got Jailbreak here. So we got Grand Theft Auto, and they had a they made a light gun Judge Dredd game. It's kind of in the same style as like Area 51 with like digitized actors and stuff, but yeah. And we got Inuyasha, Feudal Fairy Tale. It's like a fighting game. It's okay. And we got Off World Interceptor Extreme. All right. Rising. Okay, we got Diablo, very first game on here with the uh, two player support, local multiplayer. And Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Not as bad as everyone says, but then again, I never listen to anybody's opinion. Like, I have a good time with the game, honestly. But, you know, people are people. Alright, and we got Breakouts. War Gods. Also got down 64. And do Nuke Land Babes. Still gotta finish that game. Cold War 2. Rayman. Danger Girl. I guess it's based off of a real comic. Never read the comic, but. I was trying to see if it was gonna be like Siphon Filter, but you know, some aspects it is, others not so much. But, yeah. And I got an extra copy of Final Fantasy VIII. We got In the Zone. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil Survivor. I actually have fun res with Resident Evil Survivor. Very cheesy, but I dig it. You know, I really don't care what people say about it. At the end of the day, it's my money, it's my game, it's my opinion. <laughs> so yeah. Alright. And we got Die Hard Trilogy. Pipe Dream 3D. Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. I think that was the very first 3D Fatal Fury game. 
Yeah, moving on. We got one extreme. Ninja, shout out Darkness. Challenging is all hell, but pretty good game. Bugs Life. And we got Hot Wheels. Uh, extreme Racing. I think this one has like weapons and stuff. But I like Turbo Racing better because you're actually like on the tracks and stuff. Like the actual toy, but you know. Then we got Galaga. We got Last Chamber, Independence Day. Last Chamber is so fun. Remember when my cousin Axel Wolf on his PlayStation he had a demo disc that had Last Chamber and remember we couldn't get enough of that game, man. It was fun playing multiplayer together too, but yeah. Such a good game. Love to see like a remake or a remaster or something. Here we got Crash Team Racing and Silent Hill. First Silent Hill is probably my best one, like my favorite one out of the whole series. Even though I haven't played Silent Hill 3 or the new ones after 4. But, yeah. Alright, sorry about that folks, I had to readjust again, so... <laughs> okay, so continuing on for Silent Hill. That Crash Bash. Pretty fun minigame compilation. Of course, no, I don't think there was like a board game. So they weren't really copying Mario Party in that aspect. So. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it, it's a fun game. We got Wu-Tang, Shell and Style. The game that was supposed to be Thrill Kill, but because Thrill Kill is too controversial. But yeah, it's a, definitely a good game. We got Hot Shots Golf. Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. Pretty fun, it's like a pretty fun little beat em up. And we got Soul Blade. Precursor to the Soul Calibur. We got Rising Man, the Samurai Gunman. And we got Twisted Metal Small Brawl. Pretty cool twist on the Twisted Metal series. I think it's like kid versions of the main characters in the series. <laughs> now these funny goofy endings. Well, it was good stuff, man. Alright, and we got Tekken. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're going up and down, so yeah, because we're going to ready backwards here. Uh, let's see, got Twisted Metal 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, the series needs some introduction, man. Freaking love the Twisted Metal series. Okay, now we're moving over here. <laughs> so you got Twisted Metal 3 and 4. And then all the Tekkens here. And of course, the best ninja series of all time. Tension. Freaking love Tenchu Man. All time favorite ninja series. Without a doubt. And we got Bruce Willis in Apocalypse. Pretty fun. It's kind of like the game uh, 1. Well, actually, there is one right there. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like basically like Contra, man. You just go around shooting things and blowing crap up. And you're Bruce Willis, man. <laughs> Although, his model in this is a lot better than his model in the fifth element, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Although I never finished the fifth element game yet, but yeah. Alright, and now we got small soldiers and one next to it. Okay, switching spots here. Sorry folks. Alright. And we got Rascal and Pong. Sea Adventure or Contra Adventure, what have you. Mythic Command, another cool 3D iteration of the arcade classic. Duke Nukem Time Kill, Metal Gear Solid, the art missions. Unfortunately, I don't actually own the first Metal Gear Solid, but I got the art missions, so good enough. Got Battle Arena to Shinden, as well as Battle Arena to Shinden 3. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, Moving along. Okay, sorry folks. Again, had to readjust, so all that good stuff. Alright, we got three the extreme series. So one through three. And we got Kido. Pretty cool beat em up. And MDK. Maker of the Earthworm Gym, made by Interplay. We got Animorphs, Better Reality, Invasion from Beyond, 
So extraterrestrial green. We've got Tecmo Stackers. Wild Nine. Another fun game from Interplay. Or is it Shiny Entertainment as it were? Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, moving down. And we got Blaster Master. Blasting again. We got Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. Hot Shots Golf 2. Then we got the expansion of the GTA London 1969. We got Evil Zone, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, probably the best of the old, old games, because you know basically combines one through Ultimate Three, displays the bosses, and all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely the definitive version of the old school Mortal Kombat. Games. We got Contra Legacy of War. We got Tarzan. We got Assault Retribution. I think this was like Midway's uh, answer to like Contra, I guess. Yeah. We got Bust Move 2 Arcade. We got one of my favorite uh, beat em ups of all time, Fighting Force. We got East Combat. Gadget. And I only picked up the Arthur game here. <laughs> Just out of nostalgia, man, because when I was young, I'd always like to read the books and watch the show on PBS. Good times, good times. And we got Razor Racing. So I think this was like a spin off of the Razor Freestyle Scooter. And Pokemon number one. One to a part, see? Okay, so I think the last thing to show off is the long box games, which I do have, so just give me a minute and I'll go from there. Alrighty. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So we're finally at the long box games. So we got Battle Arena to Shinden 2. So I do have all the Battle Arena to Shinden games. I believe there was a fourth one released only in Japan, which I'm still going to hunt down and hopefully get. And we got Jupiter Strike here. So it's like uh, an attempt to be like Star Fox, basically. So, yeah. And we got Descent. Definitely reminds me a lot of that game Forsaken. Or Fury 3D on PC, man. That was a good one, too. And we got College Slam. Definitely a fun basketball game. Not really into college sports or sports in general, but... It's from the same people who brought us NBA Jam, so you already know it's going to be good. Plus, this one it was cool. It had, like, power-ups and stuff. So, like, you can pick up, like, a tornado and run down your opponents and stuff. Uh, I think there was, like, point pads where it'd be, like, a random number. So if it was, like, a five-pointer and you made it from that pad, then you would get five points. Like, it's pretty cool. And the last game we got is Shell Shock. So this is, like, a tank game. Kind of like Battle Zone back in the day. Alright. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thanks, that covers it, man. Woo! We did it in less than an hour. Like, way less than an hour. Because <laughs> I did actually attempt to do it one by one, but like, my video got corrupted. And then when I recovered it, the audio was out of sync. And then I cut like a couple minutes off my video and. Yeah, so I think this is the best way to do it. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I uh, think that about covers this collection video. So until next collection video, thank you all for watching. So, peace out.